Sorry, I was between episodes traveling through the whatnot, and uh, Pooch started talking to me, which I didn't catch on camera on accident. She said, civilian, a word please. The flag cannot get their hands on this weapon. They will use it to commit genocide on the mongrels. The mongrels would do the same. The mongrels would do the same to the flay. The flay forced themselves on the mongrels. They used them, violated them. It has to end now. You should not get away with this. Please, Mark, do the right thing. Yep. It's what I was always going to do, because those things are fucking horrifying. Die, die, die. It's really funny though, and I was looking back at the footage and realizing, like, oh, I'm a fool. Because <laughs> when I first met the character, the grandma pun didn't register for me. Grandma. Uh -uh. Ion cannon controller. The modular frame is a built in communication screen and several buttons for the input of coordinates. I'm a little. Not gonna lie, I'd kind of prefer to use this on the flay and then not give it to them. Because, uh. I can't help but feel like. Giving them this sort of unlimited power could go really badly. I believe this belongs to your people. You... you found it? The boss weapon? Yeah. We just want to try it with the slingshot. The slingshot is yours. With this weapon, we will smite those parasites. The children of boss will return to our rightful place. Those with swords do not go hungry. The mongrels will never again fight for scraps. Our enemies will burn. Well, isn't that a beautiful sight? Nothing left but ash and twisted metal. I don't think the fly is going to be a problem for you anymore. You're right. They won't. We've installed a device on your path lab. If you ever wish to rain down fire on your enemies, call on us. Label. I need the anchors that are holding the penrose in place taken out. The tribulation is simple. Will that be a problem? Hey, we'll prepare the weapon for a full assault. We'll be ready when you call. Mmm. That's how we're gonna get to the Penrose. Which is presumably also in the Tower of Babel. Something urinated here. Recently. There we go. We're making big progress. This might be the last episode for all I know. Depends on how long the way out is. It definitely feels like we're on the way out. Oh, look at that. You can see where the flay were. Mm. 
mongrel lasers have scored deep grooves into every metal surface. They really turned this place into scrap. Fire rages violently. It is dangerously hot here. We should not stick around. Here's where we can ask questions about what it means about me. When every choice I make ends in such destruction. That's definitely been the through line for me, hasn't it? plants taking over was probably the most peaceful feeling outcome <clears throat> even though it technically ended in the potentially the, I think the death of three different factions but it's like oh plants are growing everywhere this is nice <laughs> compared to other things it seemed positive because everything else I do leads to a whole place burning down or being blown up have all three devices. Is active. Activation has been passed to controlled pylon. Control pylon. <clears throat> I'm not super clear. Mission accomplished. We... We did it. We actually did it. We did do it, Pooch. All of us. All of us, yes. We are a squad. A team. Are we more than a team, Pooch? We are a pack. When I saw you and your brother on the Penrose, you were just intruders. I was afraid to come out of the dark. Afraid to confront you. But now, now you are my home. When I'm with you, I'm not afraid. I love you, Mark. And you, Don. My pack. She loves us. How many achievements are there? I keep getting notifications lately. Hello. Help the moss. Vengeance is mine. Pooch remains. So I guess... I guess if I had behaved differently, she might have been gone. <clears throat> Save the mongrels. Entertain Shongololo. Free Hanasi. It's always the first time. This looks familiar. But I imagine that may have been my first achievement. Hmm. You're, you're still a loose end. <coughs> I had to buy a whole device to get access to this spot. And we have never actually gotten in. Have things changed? Maybe this is how I get access to... Where I'm trying to go right now at the Penrose. Get some kind of clearance from here. What did I just do? Oh. And we have another alternate perspective. My third machine I'm controlling. Now we are an Agnate.
well. The array is activated. The thing on that previous thing they mentioned that the control had been sent to the pylon or something. I think they were saying I had to come here to keep this going. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Core cartridge has no free space. How did I... Hmm. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember what... How did I suddenly gain access to uh, an Agnate? I couldn't do this before. Oh, wait. Jer Jerry! My hero! Lovable Jerry the Agnate. That's totally... Yeah. I had to install this in a defragging body, right? Loading aggressive stance protocol. Oh. Either race like Alpha or suffer disintegration. Can you tell me what's going on? Urgent message from command. Array has been activated. ERD forming at latitude minus 34.04, longitude 18.22, altitude 6,000 meters. Bay bill lockdown initiated. Downloading override orders from the ascendancy. New orders. Eliminate intruders. Protect Bay bill. Meridian, prepare to die. Fatal error. Memory full. Purging. What was I saying? Entering defrag mode. 10 hours until memory defragmentation is complete. Shutting down. Oh my god. I'm perpetually so lucky that these things are idiots. <laughs> They've got a, a, a lethal case of adventure game-itis. And, and they can never quite get me. Thankfully that adventure game is, well, not King's Quest. Or a, or a case of adventure game-itis would be my death. Oh shit. That's it, right? I think I've currently resolved every location I've ever been to. Yeah, I can largely remember all these locations. And I believe each of the issues that was there is resolved one way or another. All right, big bad, let's go. Hopefully the artillery will save me and keep me alive. I'm on the SWAT. We're locked and loaded, yeah. Go, go, go. Hello. This is it, isn't it? Marky, Mark, I know up till now we've been through hell, and I've been trying. I've been trying to be a good brother to you. You are my brother, Don. You will always be my brother. I want to go home, Mark. 
I want to go home with you. You remember that last camping trip? The one where I forgot Dad's beer. I didn't forget it. I left it behind. I wanted us to have one good memory with Dad. One memory that wasn't soaked in booze. I just want you to be happy. And then I took any happiness you had away. I never wanted to hurt Charlize. You have to believe me. It was an accident, Don. I know I can never undo what happened. But I want to be better. I love you, Mark. Don, I love you too. Two achievements tied to that. I think I think both of your companions could have left. Depending on how you talk to them throughout the game. The statues, the Dulan, Inya, and Varia. Knit together in the womb of Daris, the Dulahan, Varya, Ninya fell from the Penrose. Hmm. Hmm. Were you judging me? Is that what that was this whole time? Not a radiation reader? The Dolohan sought peace for the slag. The three were welcomed into the Mongols' homes. These statues are ancient. Inja pleaded with the Dolohan to help the Mongols by bringing fire upon their mortal enemies. The Mongols were thankful, celebrating in song as the three ascended into the skies. What? The three. We're the three, right? Is this talking about my own behaviors? I didn't understand, Mark. How is this but we made these choices? A blight of memory inflicted by the Hanasi. The Dolahan took pity on what the Chizinyama had wrought on them. Varya pleaded with the Dolahan for mercy on their souls. The three helped the Hanasi claim the Chizinyama's magic for themselves, removing the curse. What a beautiful garden. Ancient statues of our own behavior. Varya freed the world from the scourge of the great arena so that no slave would be forced to fight again. They were slaves. So I was right to never do the arena again after the first time. Preferably would have never done it at all. Maybe that's what would have been revealed if I asked the third question. The one that was going to torture him if he had to answer. The creatures of the earth longed for tranquility, while brothers of metal were divided. The three chose to protect those made of mud and vines. Metal shapes now trapped inside prisons of stone, allowing nature to return to the land. Blackened blood spilled over the throne of mud and, bar and bark. Hmm. I've been waiting all game for this to come up and the game seems to be over. I think this was my morality meter and it just wasn't clear. Because I definitely picked, like, pretty agreeable choices a lot of the way. Maybe I could have been really shitty along the way. And that's why the, the reddest one, the, top, the furthest one from where I am is a skull that's red. Hmm. How are these statues telling our story? Uh... 
They helped all that asked. At the end, the three stood ready to birth a new world. Whew. These characters. So we're the three, right? The two people in the, like... That had skull masks and then a hound. I recognize a decent number of these characters. And I think there was a... Yeah, two skull masks and a hound. Yeah, these three. They were at each of the locations. That's what Pooch looks like in, this, in the prophecies. That's what we look like too. So we were we were in the legend all along. There's a looping here. What does that mean for us? Back in the Penrose. Welcome, my friend. Our time apart has been challenging. Thank you for returning to the temple, to the gardens planted and nurtured in your name. What's going on? My curious child, your questions are always the same. A mind trapped in linear time cannot fathom this predicament. Please, please try to explain it to me. My child, you are not Mark Leslie. You are a facsimile created from the minds of Mark, Don, and even Pooch an age ago. The helix of infinity binds us all together. A trinity. Even now, the innocence of Pooch is being pulled into our minds. She is here with us. Can't you feel her love? I think, I think I can feel her. I, I can feel her, her, her warmth. You three were needed to fulfill the prophecies of this world. To harvest the crops that I have been planting for generations. So I was just fulfilling prophecy? Yes. And no. Those that guided your choices helped you. They helped you to be good, to be wise. And even in those choices, you and Don were kept together. You made it here together, stronger than you could ever be if you were apart. But no, we are at the end of our journey, waiting to be pulled through time itself. We shall then start this journey through life again, until we meet at this very temple, again and again and again. Wait, if I'm not the real Mark Leslie, what happened to him? Now that is a story I love to tell. We got so mud. Working together, you escaped unscathed. Unfortunately, the data disk was encrypted and your investigation soon forgotten. Your relationship with Don fostered on that stormy night grew from strength to strength. You stood beside him on his wedding day, congratulated him proudly as he named his son Mark, and mournfully uttered the eulogy at his funeral. Pooch worked on the Penrose until she was no longer needed. She lived out her life as an agnate farmhand at a place that would become known as the Kettle. Opening yourself up to the light in the world, you welcomed a lovely woman into your heart, and you were happy. You died with her at your bedside. I can hear your heart thumping. Relax, Mark. Let my words wash over you as we are reborn. Next time, 
next time will be different. Shit. <laughs> I accidentally prophesized what the game actually was. You have the pretense of it being a thing where you're, nothing matters here because you're going to time travel back to the past and fix it. But then you don't. The time travel doesn't exist. You're not going to go back to the past because you never were Mark Leslie. You were always a recreation of these three characters. They lived and died back then, already. They fucking pulled a Soma on me! <laughs> Alright. So yeah, everything you did had consequences and stayed true and didn't go away. <clears throat> so I hope you're happy to live with them. I think them saying... Them, them incorporating a time loop into the storyline and saying next time will be different, I think acknowledges the idea that you can start the game over and get a different ending. And I think your behavior throughout the game gives you a personality type. I think that's what the simulacrum was actually measuring. But I started in one spot on that and then I stayed there the rest of the game, so I never saw it move. But the temple reflects your actions, and it has like a color template. Like there's, there's a, I got the green temple of generosity, I think, and it had all those different storylines. I think it might have played out very differently if you had a different personality type and made different choices, both the big choices and also how you talk to people. <coughs> and as a result, you'd probably get a different ending and that seems to be entirely based on who you were as a person, who Mark and Don and Pooch were. So if you make different choices, that affects the past, paradoxically. Not because Mark Leslie in the future is changing the past version of himself, but that you that's just who Mark Leslie always was. And so it reflects who they were in the past, and so the past Mark Leslie probably doesn't repair the relationship with his brother, for example or does other bad things, or maybe even dies on the Penrose, or who knows what else could happen. Apparently he took the data disc and then just left. And like, mission successful, except for the part where the data disc didn't ultimately work, apparently. It, it was like a minor chapter in his life that he moved on from, in reality. He got the data disc on this big gambit, and then it just didn't amount to what he thought it would amount to. And then he just went all his life. But then I, but, but while that was happening, a copy of him was essentially made. And unbeknownst to him, presumably. And that's why I played us for the rest of the game. Well, alrighty then. Got some of these. Yep, Temple of Generosity. There's question marks here. So this was a question mark one. So you get, yeah, okay. So your behavior type leads to different endings. Interesting. Probably not gonna sit here and replay the entire game to get that kind of different path, but good to know about at least. Hmm. Yeah, that's an idea. Yeah, because you were a copy of somebody, how you behave throughout the game reflects what kind of person they were. And then the game extrapolates from there to tell you how that person's ending back then turned out to be as a result. Hmm. Narratively, this game's really cool, and it's a really cool setting. As an adventure game, the puzzle mechanics were often iffy, and it definitely uh, 
maybe ended up being more of an RPG than an adventure game compared to what I originally thought. Which was interesting because when I saw the original, uh, when I, that's because this was supposed to be my puzzle slot, whoops, <laughs> and the puzzleness was questionable. Uh, but when I was researching this game and reading reviews from the Steam users and whatnot, it, it, w the overriding thing was constantly that people were mistaking it for being an RPG and complaining that it wasn't enough of an RPG because actually it's an adventure game pretending to be an RPG. Which I found funny because the game was clearly tagged to be an adventure puzzle game and not tagged as an RPG when I was looking at it. And it definitely advertised itself as being another game like Stasis and Kane. So like, people were just looking at screenshots and seeing the jabbering heads and just mistaking it for being like a Fallout game because it looks kind of like one in certain ways. And so as a result, I got preconditioned to be ready for it to be an adventure slash puzzle game. It's more so than an RPG. But having played through it, I got more of an RPG out of it than those things. And so I, I, I am tempted to say those people are just wrong. At least via, via the criteria that I've been using, like, this game, yeah, is an RPG, ultimately. Uh, and those people are just being dis just distracted by the fact that they don't have, like, a level-up system or constant combat. But, like, this game actually was kind of a decent companion to something like Disco Elysium. Not for the same reasons, beside necessarily, but just being, like, these beautiful new settings that are fully realized that have the, that that have a a largely dialogue driven game system full of choices and whatnot there's obviously many 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 differences but the uh neither game being about combat kind of puts them on a shelf together a little bit also being beautiful indie games in both cases but yeah i'm glad I, i'm glad i played this game i wish it was less confusing i felt i feel like there are tools that we have had in games like this for a long time that could have been used here to make the game less difficult to process and navigate. And I don't think the game necessarily benefited that much from not having those tools. I don't think there would, I don't think, it, it doesn't really necessarily feel like there was like a particular like creative aesthetic to it all. That's like, oh wow, no, if the, the game would be cheapened if it had a, like a quest log or something. It's like, no, there's a, there's several factions at several locations where you're dealing with several parallel storylines at once. It would really be helpful to have a little help. Because the game has like 30... I want... yeah, I think it might have like 30 locations in the game. It's a, it's a big map with a lot of characters and a lot of factions and a lot of it... A lot of it stayed in my head, but the moment-to-moment -moment mechanics of what I was trying to accomplish was never... was often not as clear as who I was doing it for. So while I could often remember the storylines and the factions and the places a bit, <clears throat> the exact moment-to-moment -moment thing the game was wanting me to proceed with was often very up in the air, and I would solve it by kind of just bouncing around between major locations that seem relevant and hoping to see a talk icon or an item receptacle or something. I don't know. Mixed feelings on the gameplay a little bit there. But anyway, thanks for watching like always guys, and if you want to share this game around and stuff like that, there's a link in the description to the Steam page, uh, and the GOG page, I think I, I think I used the GOG page actually. Uh, that was, they gave me the code for the game, and they requested, I, I linked the GOG page if I remember correctly, so that, I think that's why I did that. Uh, thanks for watching like always guys, and I'll see you next time, where I finally get to, get to what I've been trying to get to for a while now, Jet Force Gemini. Oh, this will be nostalgic.